voice that you will hear will be that of our leader, Apostle Cleveland R. Person. Please stand and give him a hand as he comes. Say praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Now, uh, you may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God for allowing us to be here today on this Lord's Day. We honor the Spirit of Christ to the fivefold ministry. We greet you with the whole word of peace. Peace be multiplied. Amen. We thank and praise God for, amen, for the church uh, going out last Sunday with us over to the temple. Amen. 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 And God bless you, each and every one that went and sent your offering and prayed for us. Amen. As long as you did something. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So we just thank and praise God. Amen. For this Amen. spirit of laughter and joy. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Jesus today. Amen. Amen somebody. And we thank God for each of you. We thank God for the uh, service that we had this morning in Sunday school. If you were here, you missed it. Amen. You missed it if you weren't here this morning Amen. for Sunday school. Amen. It's just good to be in Sunday school. I hear some crickets. <laughs> it's good to be, be in Sunday school and Bible class. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> There's no crickets. Amen. Well, we thank and praise God. Amen. That we are here in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't have nothing bad to say. Amen. Amen. All I have is some good news before me. Amen. 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 Glory to somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. He calls us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And that's where I'm at. Amen. Anything down here on this earth is just a little bit too low right now. Amen. But I, I'm sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So a man thinking, where do you think you are? Are you thinking you here or are you soaring with the eagles that's up above? Remember, I, I dropped this on you a while ago. Amen. The, amen. The chickens eat what on the ground. Amen. But when the eagles, they soar with their eagle eyes, they can see what they want to eat. So what are you, a chicken or an eagle? <laughs> Amen. So we thank and praise God. Amen. We know that we are eagles. Amen. Praise God. And we will never forget that scripture that we shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Amen. We shall run and not be weary, walk and not faint. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew. Anybody wait today? And then if you wait on the Lord, he will renew your strength. Amen. Amen. And I choose to be happy. Amen. I choose to be full of joy. Amen. I choose to de depend on God. It's a choice in the matter, saints. Amen. And we just thank God. And I just want to say this to you today. Amen. That in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. So wherever you are right now, if you're not experiencing that joy, you need to get in the presence of the Lord. For in his presence is fullness of joy. It don't matter what's going on around you, no matter what's taking place on this earth realm, in this earth realm, it don't matter what's going on in your homes, on your job. Amen. It don't matter if the neighbors don't like it. Amen. Sometimes it looks like they post up on your grass so it can die. It don't make no difference about none of that. But in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Amen. This is not what it looked like because you're looking from your natural eye. But you got to start looking from your spiritual eye. Amen. Let me drop this on you before we go any further. When Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus, amen, he began to weep at the tomb. Amen. The Bible says Jesus wept. The shortest verse, Jesus wept. But then he realized he knew who he was. Amen. He got all authority and all power. Amen. Somebody help me. What did he call him at the tomb? 
Lazarus. I lost y'all that time. <laughs> Lazarus. Come forth. Come forth. And Lazarus had to come forth. And so we thank God. Amen. Yeah. When you know who you are in Christ is all I'm saying. Yeah. You can start commanding and speaking things. Yeah. Don't let the devil shut your mouth because things ain't going right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because, amen, the clouds is forming. Yeah. Don't let the enemy shut your mouth. Yeah. You still got a testimony. Yeah. If you don't do nothing, say that. Lord for waking me up early this morning and I knew who I was and I know who I am in your right mind. Man. Am I right about it? So right about Amen. It. Praise God. So you got to find something. Amen. Look around you. Look around you. Look at your family. Find something to thank God for. Man. See you got to get into the spirit of thanksgiving before we go any further here. Man. Anybody thankful in here? Anybody, amen, thankful to God in here for anything that he has done for you? Yeah. And that just lately he woke you up this morning, yeah. started you on your way. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. One thing about it, I don't look for nobody else to put my praise in. Yeah. I ain't going to even say, y'all, come on, let's praise him. Yeah. If you don't want to praise him, you don't have to praise him. Yeah. If you don't want to give him glory, you don't have to give him glory. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm here to help you clean in the glory in this house. Because it's only for a moment. It's for a moment. Anything that you may be experiencing is unpleasant. It's only for a moment. And I'm, I'm here to remind you that greater is he yes. that's within you than he that's in the world. Amen. We, we should still be shouting when it's, when it's raining. We, we still should be running when it's raining. Am I right about it? Sure, right about it. Regardless of what's going on in your life, amen, God is still sitting high yeah. and lifted up yeah. on his throne. Yeah. 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 Glory be to God. And, and we sing the song, This Joy That I Have. The world didn't give it to me. Yeah. That works when the clouds is forming. Yeah. That, that works when you're going through this peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Peace is that surpasses all understanding. The world didn't give me that. Amen. Amen. Y'all, y'all don't know what each other's sitting on right now. But one thing you shouldn't be sitting on is your praise. <laughs> ah, I threw a curve at you that time. You shouldn't be sitting on your praise. The seed is all right, but don't set on your praise. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, well, we didn't preach one sermon. Let's go to the next one. All right, now. All right, all right, <laughs> we go on to 2 Corinthians. Amen. The 10th chapter and the third verse. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Corinthians, the 10th chapter, and the third verse. And we're going to read 3 through 5. Amen. Thought my daughter was going to preach the sermon today. Amen. Mm -hmm. went to Ephesians. Uh huh. <laughs> the same thing. Amen. Anybody glad about Jesus? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Amen. He's worthy to yes. be praised. Yes, he is. You don't matter what you see in the natural, that's just natural. Amen. God stepped out on nothing and made something out of everything. Amen. That's what you got to get in your mind that God is greater. Yes. Amen. He's greater. Yes. Let's read. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And let's read that first one together, the third verse. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Praise God. And just for a thought, amen. Look at a neighbor and say, neighbor. 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 Make sure y'all hear me. Neighbor. Neighbor. You can't lose. You can't lose. With the stuff you use. With the stuff you use. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> you, you can't lose with the stuff you use. And I'm speaking about the Holy Spirit. Teach now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Teach now. Amen. For Paul made it very clear to the church at Corinth. And the Bible says that this is his second letter to the church at Corinth. And the Bible says it was something that was going around. It was a false apostle going around trying to say a lot of things that was not true. And Paul had to correct 
the situation. And so he wrote to them. He, he said in the first two verses, Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in present am based among you, but being absent am bold toward you. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence. Wherefore, I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. This is not a flesh walk. This is a faith walk. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Thank God for Jesus today that, amen, where is your faith? Amen. Praise God. In this walk, because you can't do it in your flesh. In your flesh, there's always going to be something that's going to spring up, that's going to come up, that's going to manifest. Amen. But we have the authority to speak. Amen. And put circumstances and conditions and predicaments under our feet. Right where it belongs. Amen. And use it as a testimony. Amen. When you're going through, amen, that's a testimony that you can give to the church. And if you don't be careful, you know, you, 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 you let the enemy twist that up. But it's for the glory of God. So somebody need to know that when you're going through some, that the God that you claim and serve when the sun was shining is still the same God when it's raining outside. Amen. Y'all still with me? Yeah. He's got all power in his hands. And we don't have to know about what everybody is going through. Everybody going through something. And we have a show of hands. I think every hand will go up in here. We don't have to worry about a show of hands, but I'm here to tell you and drop this on you that the same God, amen, that answer my prayer will answer your prayer. Right. Same right. God that answer your prayer will answer my prayer. All I'm saying is that Jesus is the answer to whatever that we're going through. And the Bible says that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Yes. So, so I learned Apostle Francis when I'm going through I just find myself making my way to the presence of the Lord. Amen. Because in the presence of the Lord of God there is fullness of joy. Amen. When you're in his presence the, the tax collectors can't get to you. When you're in his presence, your enemies can't get to you. Amen. When you're in his presence, depression can't get to you. Amen. When you're in his presence, oppression can't get to you. Are you listening to me? Amen. Whatever it is that the enemy tried to sit on you, when you get in the presence of the Lord, it cannot find you. Woo! I believe I shout right there myself. Yes. Because when you're covered with the blood, amen, the enemy can't see you. Yes. Yes. You start feeling better. Yes. You start feeling more better when you get in the presence of the Lord. When you was down here in this earth realm, you would bow down. But when you get in this presence, you start. Yes. God lift you up. Yes. You start looking around. Yeah. And when you're looking around in this presence, you know you're not looking up, but you're looking down at your situation. Uh -huh. And when you're looking down at your situation, circumstances, you already, already got a hands up on it. Yeah. It's one thing when you're in the forest, you can't see the forest for the trees. Uh -huh. But I declare, when you get up high, Right, come on, Am I right, Ella B? <laughs> when, when, you, <laughs> God, when you get up high, you can see what's going on. Uh -huh. See, the enemy trying to blind you in this world. Yeah. The prince of the air, he has blinded the eyes of so many that lost focus. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But when you're in the presence of God, you can see what the enemy is up to. Uh -huh. yeah. As an eagle. Yeah. 
You can see the circumstances. Right. You, you can see what the enemy tried to do. You, you, you can see the arsenal he tried to use against you when you was down here. But in the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy. You can still get your shout on when you're in his presence. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Not some. All. All. Oh. A. <laughs> L. L. Make it real plain. Yes, oh. All right. He'll do it, saints. Saints. Amen. He'll do it. You can't lose with the stuff you use. Amen. We have to tell ourselves that. Uh huh. See, when the enemy. The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a stamp against him. So when he come in, a big flood coming out at it. That's right. That's what they're saying because it's a comma. Teach now. Boom. Like Teach. a flood. Teach. Like a flood. Boom. Teach He'll now. lift up a stamp against him. Yeah. Yeah. Wash him right out. Uh-huh. You can't do nothing with no mop when 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 uh, when your when your, when your basement is flooded. Uh huh. Teach Come now. On here. Make it plain. <laughs> you got you got to go a little deeper than that. Amen. Amen. But we thank God that He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can actually think according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. We have to, sometimes you have to preach to yourself. Can I be honest you with you? You tell the Lord? truth now. Uh -huh. Sometimes you got to take you a text in your bathroom. Amen. Come on here. All right now. My wife will tell you. Amen. Am I the one to stay in there or you? <laughs> sometimes you take you a text wherever you are uh -huh. and work with it. Come on, come on. But you got to know the word. Because the Spirit of the Lord will cause you to draw out of the well of salvation. Yeah. All right. Thank when you know the word. Yeah. Take you a text. Right, brother? Really? <laughs> yeah. See, that, that's going into Baptist. But we ain't going there today. Amen. Amen. Uh, you can preach to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Speak a word to yourself in your spirit. And it'll confirm. The Bible says um, in my footnotes, having completed instructions uh, for collections for the poor, this in the previous chapters, Paul now returns to dealing with a false apostle. There's some false apostles too. Uh -huh. Am I right about it? Sure, right about it. There's some false apostles as well as some false prophets. You got to line people up with the word of God as never before. Mm -hmm. Because there's some that has gone forth. Wolves in sheep clothing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you got to be aware of that. They'll tell you you're going to get a car. Woo! Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> and then they're going to, that opened the door for you to start receiving. The other stuff, they'll slip that in on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see you crying for two weeks. <laughs> the devil is alive. <laughs> Don't slip it in on you because then it got you happy with that. Now that it threw uh, an uh, undercut uh, 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 under you, hit you with an uppercut. Nothing but a trick of the enemy. Uh -huh. It says, who have gained considerable ground in discrediting him at Corinth. When you're trying to do right and speaking right and speaking the truth, it'd be some folk that come right behind you trying to take you down. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Preaching good now. The prophet prophesied that they was going into captivity for 70 years and somebody came along and said, no, that ain't so. But it was so. 
They went into captivity just like he said. Amen. We got to grow, you know, get matured in the spirit so we can discern. Amen. Second, uh, the uh, First Corinthians 12 chapter, I believe, speaks about the, the, the gifts of the spirit. And not only that, we need the fruit of the spirit. See, we forget about Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit, and I heard somebody say so about long suffering. Long suffering is one of them. You, see, we need some enduring. See, it's going to show where you are in your flesh when you are faced with heavy, I say light, heavy trial and tribulation. Who are you going to call on? We need to call on Jesus. When we are under attack of the enemy, you don't run from God, you run to God. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. You put all your trust, all your faith, all you know about the word, all that you've been taught by the word, what your experiences that you had in this life so far, you got to put all of that together. Amen. Then you'll be able to defeat the enemy. He ain't, he ain't strong. He don't have no power. The only power we have is what you give him. Because uh -huh. the Bible says all power comes from God. Amen. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Amen. But when we're going through, we forget scripture. Well. Prophet Mary, did you say something about you was trying to remember something? Oh, prayer. She was saying something about in a testimony. Sometimes when you're under attack, you kind of forget some things. You kind of forget some things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You tell the truth. You, you, you knew the Bible from Genesis to Revelation when the sun was shining. Uh oh. Come on here. Uh oh. Pockets full of money. Uh oh. Money down in your bosom. Well. You forgot all about what the Word of God said. When we going through. Mm. Amen, somebody. Amen. Paul said, in my further notes, it says, here Paul denies the charges in verses 1 and 2. Though we live, though we he lived in the flesh, he did not war after, after the, the flesh. flesh. And anybody knew anything about war, yeah. it was Apostle Paul. Amen. Amen. Before he became Apostle Paul, he was that mean, crazy, I would say. Bible don't say that, but I say that's me. Low down and crazy and mean Saul. Uh -huh. That was persecuting the Christians and the church. Mm -hmm. So he knew about that carnal stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's saying now, though we walk in the flesh, we don't walk. After the flesh. Amen. Amen? Amen. His weapons were not carnal. And that goes back to my daughter when she took her text from Ephesians 6 <laughs> 10 through 18. Amen. Amen. Put on the whole arm of God. Because we're in a battle church. And, 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 and how better to lay this out than to talk about a, a, a being in a war? A warfare. You are in a warfare whether you want to believe it or not. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Amen. It's a spiritual war that's going on. Mm -hmm. Superintendent Eddie Johnson, can, he can fire police officers, he can do all of that. But I ain't never heard none of them talking about, okay, well, we're going to pray. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> We we gonna have a prayer service in, in my office. Uh -huh. yeah. Nobody talking about the spiritual things because it's wicked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. It's wicked out here. Uh, I'm gonna drop about two three points on you. I'm gonna take my seat. For it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty. That's that stuff you lose, you can't, you can't lose with the stuff you use. Amen. 
but mighty through God uh -huh. to the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds is something that you have in your mind. It can be a carnal thought, a natural thought, but it's something that hinders your flow. Yeah. Yeah. It, it blocks your channel. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. It, it, it stops you up. You know, like you put a stop in a, in a tub that's water running out. Mm -hmm. You stop the water from running out by putting that stop in there. You know, it's not flowing. Somebody needs to take the stop out today. Mm. All right, now. Make it plain. And let God flow. Let his Holy Spirit flow. Yes. Let his anointing flow. Let his blood flow. Let his infinite wisdom flow. Amen. Let his direction flow. Let his, his, his leading flow. Amen. Yes. Let him order you in a way that he would have you to go. Mm -hmm. Because it's, don't panic. It's just a test. Amen. When you're going through your trials and tribulations, that ain't no time to throw in the towel and panic. Do what you've been doing all year long. Yeah. I would trust in the Lord. Forever in the Lord. For Jehovah is everlasting strength. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Stronghold. I have to do that myself. I have to preach to myself. I preach more than just that cornerstone, you know. Every day, Elder D, I'm taking me a text from somewhere because okay. the enemy, he's on our track. Yeah. And he go after the head. Uh -huh. So we got to stay. Yeah. I ain't talking about because it sounds good. We have to stay in the presence of the Lord. Yeah. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Even when things are not happening, I still got joy. Yeah. Out of all the things I've been through, still got joy. Yeah. That's where you need to be. Because joy is one of is the fruit of the spirit. And sometimes people become a stronghold in your mind. Because you think they should have did something or saw where you are and they act like they don't care. Mm. Come on now. What? <laughs> yeah. what? You know, we want folks to see everything and know everything about us and if they don't see it and know it, well, they must not care. The what? devil is a lie. We Amen. do care. We do love you. Amen. God loves you. I know that's right. Feeling sorry for yourself. The devil is a lie. Right. Yes. Pick yourself up. Right. And God will give you the power and the strength to go on and say, pick up your candlestick. Don't sit there and wallow. Uh -huh. Find something to have joy about. Amen. You can find something. The Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Uh-huh. Seek, yeah. and ye shall find. Yeah. Knock, and the door shall be open. Amen. It's up to us. Amen. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Yeah. What are you speaking? Are you speaking life? I'm going to drop this on you too. Come on, this for free. Uh -huh. <laughs> are you speaking life? Or are you speaking death in your situation? Amen. You feel a whole lot better when you start thinking and speaking positive things. Amen. You tell the truth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Holy Bible says, let the weak say, say I am strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. say that I am rich. It all in your mind. That's where the devil works. That, that's where that we don't walk, uh, though we walk in the flesh, we don't walk, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. After the flesh. See, because if you try to beat the devil at his game in your flesh, you're going to lose every time. I know that's right. 
<laughs> Only way you're going to beat him in this game is give him a spirit. Amen. When I was in the spirit. Oh, I wish I could sing like some of them. <laughs> you do. But it is when you're in the spirit, God will show you some things. Yeah. He'll rearrange some things uh -huh. when you're in the spirit. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, I'm going to drop this on you. We're going to close. Great conquest of spiritual weapons. Destruction of strongholds. We destroy reasons of pagan philosophers and Jewish rabbis and their dogmas that nullify the word of God and the facts of the gospel. These fortifications we pull down and demolish. Amen. If you're trying to keep up with philosophers, yeah. astrologers, yeah. You, you don't feel like your day complete till you get that sometimes and read your horoscope. The <laughs> devil is a lie. <laughs> we need to do away with that. I used to do it. That's why I know people do it. I used to read my horoscope. Mm -hmm. And did you do it? And, and, and ooh, well, let me see what my horoscope say today. You, <laughs> you, you can't but they making money. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. So that's what's wrong with the church. We don't want to tell the truth. Amen. Tell the truth and shame, and shame the devil. Amen. Amen. It says we put to flight the demon powers. And the alien armies raising the banner of the cross high on the field of battle. You have to see that in the spirit. You know how they took that that hill, I think it was in Japan, when they them soldiers put that flag up. That's in the history books. Yeah, that's right. Hemajima. I know she knows about that kind of stuff. Hemajima. And we raised the banner for the Lord. Each time, let me drop this on you. Each time you overcome that trial, that tribulation, and, and, and by faith, God give you deliverance, you raising that flag up, that victory flag, that big overcoming flag, that, that prosperous flag, because the Bible says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. See, we were just talking about this in Sunday school. Sometimes you gotta read, you, well, all the time, you gotta read this word, amen, to see where you really are in the faith. Somebody then told you because you spoke one true prophet prophecy that you were prophet. Come on here. You ain't gonna like me today. Right. You done spoke one good gave one prophetic word, now you are all out prophet. Well, what about the donkey that spoke to Balaam in the road? Teach now. Yeah. Come on here. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me go to three, four more points here. Amen. The Bible say casting down the footnotes, casting down imagination. We demolish all theories, reasonings, and any high system of ethics, religion, mythology, uh, metaphysics, sublime doctrines, or philosopher, philosophy set forth to defy the knowledge of God. It's some folks down here think they're so smart that they're smarter than God. Mm -hmm. Philosophers. Mm -hmm. Answer this if you can. I'm going to ask y'all a question. Answer, answer if you can. Where did the philosophers come from? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Where, where did the, 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 the engineers come from? Where did Bill Gates come from? All right now. Y'all get y'all get it now, right? Mm -hmm. Everything came from God. Amen. 
no matter how smart you are, rocket scientists, neurosurgeons, chief neurosurgeons, whatever, whatever they do. What Johnny Cochran, going on with his firm. Everybody came from God. Now, how could you tell the teacher something? Amen. Pluto, talking about the philosophers of that time. And even Judaism fell before the preaching of the crucified and risen Christ. All right. Hedonism shrank before the gospel and called on secular power to defend it. See, the gospel, the word of God stands all by itself. Amen. Even when heaven and earth pass away. It don't matter, it don't, it don't matter how smart you are. You still need God. No matter how much talent you have, you still have God. You can have degrees on your wall from that end to that end. You still need God. The blessings of the Lord make it rich. And add no sorrow. What we need is faith in God. And, and it don't matter what come your way. You just know, without a doubt, God's going to take care of it. Amen. All I'm hearing, all I'm saying, is that David said, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> well, that's just me. The harder they fall. <laughs> and that's what happened to the Goliath. Uh -huh. He came in the name of the Lord. Amen. When things is against you, what name do you call on? You got to call on Jesus. He's a present help in the time of trouble. We'll give you a couple more points. Bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every thought. Sometimes you can get a thought in your mind when you sleep. And that doesn't mean that God paid you a visit because you got a thought. Yeah. Am I right here about it? Amen. Because that thought may not be a godly thought. Amen. It can be a thought that the enemy is stirring up in your mind. Mm -hmm. Remember now that the enemy works through your mind. Yes. That's why we have to submit everything to God. Our spirit, amen, our soul and our body. We have to give it all to God. Give no place. Put on a whole arm of God, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith. Your words girt about with truth. Your feet shot with the preparation of God's for peace. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yeah. That's what we need to guard against things that's not like God. Amen. The devil don't leave you alone because you say, "Well, devil, I'm going to bed now. We gonna pick this up tomorrow." <laughs> 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 no, uh -uh. the devil get in the bed with you. And you talk about a witch ride you all night. <laughs> My God. He don't leave you alone because you're going to bed. No, no, no. It says that we take every thought prisoner and lead it into captivity to the obedient Christ. Amen. To obey Christ. Amen. To obey Christ. Every thought we bring it in under subjection to obey Christ. To the, amen. Yeah. Every thought. And lead it into its captivity to obey Christ. So whatever that thought is, it's got to line up. Holly Berry is a pretty woman, but she ain't pretty to my wife. Amen. <laughs> Beyonce is all of that, but she ain't. She don't have my wife. Amen. Right. That's my wife. That's right. That's where you got to think. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Don't be carried away with the world. Amen. Appreciate what you have. 
And then if it's not what you should have, God will give you what you should have. Amen. 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 There's some single women in here. And you ain't single just because you just have to be single, but you waiting on the Lord. Amen. Anybody can get a man. Or any woman can get a man. Get the milk man, pack man, <laughs> you know, the big dog. And you can get some kind of man. <laughs> but it ain't the man that you should have. It says, lasciviousness, vain, and evil thoughts of all kinds are brought down and made obedient to his laws. Lasciviousness is just everything. Vain and evil thoughts. You wishing death upon your enemies. Sometimes you want to sound pretty good. But you know, let God have it. He say, vengeance is mine, said the Lord, I will repay. I know scripture now. I ain't gonna get in trouble. Amen. 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 <laughs> but but we have to really turn those thoughts over yeah. to the Lord. Amen. That includes any thinking which is contrary to virtue, purity, and righteousness. Remember that. Virtue, purity, and righteousness. Uh -huh. You got to line up. Mm. Amen. In other words, God is not going to bless no mess. Yeah. Sometimes we get in a mess and we want God to bless it. Mm. And every relationship is not meant to last 40 years. Some people you meet, you may not see them no more. Or sometimes you may be, you know, have a relationship for a few years and they move out of the country, move somewhere. Well, let God be glorified. Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes God moves people out your life because those will be the very ones that choke you at night. Come on here. Amen. Fade or trash. I mean, it, it can happen. Amen. So God has a way of moving people around. And we cry because we think that they the ones. But God see further down the road than you. Yep. Make it plain. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Because <laughs> if you don't trust God, then what you thought was a blessing will be a burden. Uh -huh. yes. You find yourself doing everything. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Amen. Let him stay cute. Let her stay fine. But at the, in the end, you know, let God be glorified. Amen. Amen. Church got to, we just have to open our eyes. Amen. Amen. Let me say this and I'm going to close. It's having in readiness to appear all disobedience. We stand at all times ready. So to speak, to court martial any opposing the gospel of Christ. After separating ourselves from them, the whole picture here is that of a strong fortified city where the enemy makes his last stand, entrenching himself about the walls, raising towers and preparing engines of defense and offense upon the walls to ensure victory, the fortification, the fortifications, walls, towers, and castles are taken by the gospel, and the whole opposition is destroyed and taken captive. We on the winning side. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, get a Lord a hand, praise. We are on the winning side because we can't lose with the stuff we use. We on the winning side. Amen. Because God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. He's a mighty strong tower. He's a present help in the time of trouble. He was, is, and is to come. He is the first and the last to begin.
beginning and the ending. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen, somebody. Ha. Ah, he's God and God alone. And we thank God that we get, I hope somebody got something from this. Amen. That we all need to use what God has given us. And he has given us a comforter that will lead and guide us into all truth. Yes. And bring all things to our remembrance. Remember this, the race isn't given to the swift. Nor the battle to the strong. But to them that would endure, you were strong last year, but are you still strong this year? You ran fast last year, but are you still running this year? Can't nobody run that race for you. That's right. I heard somebody say, amen, like in a four-way and in a relay, you pass the baton to somebody else. It ain't going to work in this race. You can pass the baton all you want to. You just going to be back there. Amen. Even though your team win, you still lose. Amen. You got to run your race. Amen. You got to endure to the end. Amen. You have to endure when temptations and enticements and, and all that stuff come your way. You, you have to be strong enough and fortified enough that you are not penetrated, amen, like a city without walls. Yeah. That's what the enemy want to do to you. He wants you to be naked and ashamed. But the devil is alive today and forever. Yeah. He's been lying since he made a star. He's the father of lies. Yeah. And we're going to trust in the Lord. And from this time forward, when things come in your mind, don't take everything as gospel. Amen. 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 Every word that come out of a preacher's mouth, even in this area, if they come in and they're not preaching the truth, you don't have to say amen. I know that's right. I would use a word with these young folks that think I'm cussing if I use that B word. They are blank, but not a son. <laughs> they, they read the Bible, so they don't know what that is. And I just leave some spaces. But those who read the Bible know you are blank and not a son. Y'all go and look it up. Teach of that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's the word of God. Amen. God bless you. So we thank God. Get a lot of hand praise for us. We, we have to love what we doing. Amen. Because sometimes it's a thankless journey. Yes, mm -hmm. well, Am I right about it? I'm so right about sometimes, it. Sometimes, you know, look like people say, well, you could have said thank you. So what, what if they don't? <laughs> you still got a job to do. <laughs> well, well, they could have blessed me. Well, what if they don't? Do you just stop and cry and get mad and get evil and all these strongholds start building back up in you again? Evil thinking, amen, pray lasciviousness. You see, it's a trick on the enemy. Amen. Everything that you've been delivered from, purged from, cleaned up from, if you don't put your mind on the word of God, that stuff I declare will come back in you. You tell the truth now. And it'll be worse. Yes, indeed. Than it was in the first. Uh huh. Uh huh. Amen. Amen. God didn't deliver you and take you out to clean you up and, and, and made you a clean vessel for you to go and mess yourself up again. Yeah. Amen. 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 So it's nothing down here that's worth your salvation. Amen. That's all I'm saying. That's true. If folk don't want to go, bye. Amen. If they ain't want to go the way you going, bye. That's right. What could a person do to you when God is protecting you? Amen. Woo, that's good. 
If he, you are in the palm of his hands, this is the gospel now. This ain't me. Amen. You in the palm of his hand, and nobody is big, bad enough, ugly enough to take you out. Amen. 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 I wish folks would raise up at you. God will cause them to have a stroke in their hand. Oh. Come on here. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, let me open the door to the church. <laughs> Because we're going to preach three sermons today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Maybe someone here today don't have a church.